It's time for the RMAC Radio Show, featuring all the latest information from around the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. The RMAC is a proud member of NCAA Division II. Now, here's your host, Eric Danner. Welcome to the RMAC Radio Show. My name is Eric Danner, and it's Thanksgiving week, uh, so most of the time we're done with RMAC football, but that is not the case this year. We're going to talk to Ross Dowson in just a few minutes here, the quarterback from CSU Pueblo, the Thunderwolves, the number one ranked team in Division Two, and we're also going to talk uh, about some uh, national championships that we had this past weekend, actually the national championship, Western State a winning in cross country. We're going to, we're going to talk with Ryan Haby, uh, the national champion for Western State, winning the individual national championship as they also won the team championship in Spokane, Washington. Their women's team also finishing number two. And uh, Adam State uh, was top five in uh, both the men's and women's, so great showing there. Also, uh, we're going to talk a little soccer uh, as uh, Fort Lewis they win. They'll be in the Final Four in men's soccer. Colorado Mines had a chance to see them uh, this past weekend. They they beat Fort Lewis to advance to the Elite Eight, and then they lost to Grand Valley State, the defending national champions, ranked number one in the country. They lose in a shootout, which uh, whenever you talk to soccer people, they always uh, are upset uh, losing in a shootout because not uh, – not the way you want to lose a uh, match and end your season there. And then also we're going to talk about uh, some basketball. Uh, as uh, we're, we're well into basketball season, the uh, RMAC season will be starting up uh, just next week. Uh, so uh, by the time we're ending football, uh, basketball will be well underway. But I uh, want to talk RMAC football and uh, CSU Pueblo. They'll be hosting Minnesota Duluth, as it turns out, uh, this Saturday at noon at the Thunder Bowl. And joining us now on the RMAC hotline is the quarterback for the Thunderwolves. His name is Ross Dowson. Ross, how's it going today? I'm doing great. Thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Ross. Uh, this has to be quite a run for you. You're a junior quarterback. Uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about how you arrived at CSU Pueblo. Uh, you're out of San Antonio, Texas, and then you go to Butler County Community College. You lead them to a region title as a freshman there, and then you uh, transfer to CSU Pueblo. Uh, what uh, what brought you to Colorado? Did you have any any ties here, or was it just uh, the coaches recruited you and you thought that was the best fit for you? Uh, I'd say it was a little bit of both. Um, my dad was my high school coach back home in Texas, and uh, he's known Coach Riston for some years now. You know, when Coach Riston was at Northwestern and CU, and he uh, he recruited a couple of my dad's players, and they kind of uh, had a relationship that way. And so when I was ready to leave Butler, they kind of got in touch and started talking, and I came on a visit, and, you know, it was a great fit for me personally and really agreed with what the coaches and the team was doing here. And CSU Pueblo currently 11-0, and ranked number one in the country. Ross, when you signed on at CSU Pueblo a couple of years ago, did you have an idea that this team – uh, could be uh, a number one ranked team, an undefeated team, a number one ranked team in the region type of team when you signed on? Yeah, um, definitely. Whenever you make that kind of commitment, that's that's the goal. And it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to make that bold prediction right out of the gate, but I definitely knew the ingredients were in place here. And uh, that's one of the reasons I came here, because there's a bunch of special people here in Pueblo. Talking with Ross Dowson, the quarterback at CSU Pueblo, and Ross, uh, you've you've had a, a good career. Uh, part of the thing about CSU Pueblo this year, it's a, it's a great team, top to bottom, but not necessarily the the big numbers uh, that pop out at people that that get them all excited. I know the uh, the finalists for the Harlan Hill Trophy were announced uh, early this week. And uh, nobody from CSU Pueblo on that final 22, I believe Jake Spitzelberger out of Nebraska Kearney uh, on that final 22 list. But it seems like top to bottom, you don't have any weaknesses, but at the same time, not really any superstars either. Either Is that kind of how the team approaches it, that uh, everybody's important? Uh, I think that is uh, something we, we think is important to our success, not to say that individual success and that we don't think isn't important and that we don't think we have great players here. But uh, we definitely pride ourselves on checking our egos at the door and 
uh, doing a good job in what our job on the team is and really being good at what we do individually in our roles. Talking with Ross Dowson, the quarterback at CSU Pueblo was named second team all-conference uh, this year, uh, actually ahead of Clay Garcia, who was one of the Harlan Hill finalists last year. And Ross is listed 6'5", 230s out of San Antonio, as we mentioned, Warren High School and Butler County Community College. 6'5", 230, Ross. I, I know in the national TV game they made a note of that, uh, how you're actually a bigger guy than uh, some of your offensive linemen. Uh, did, do you look at it that way? Or it seems like those guys do a pretty good job of protecting you no matter how big they are. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it is kind of, on paper it's kind of comical to look at, you know. But uh, those guys play big, that's for sure. They might not be the biggest, but they definitely do play big, and they've done an awesome job this year. Uh, Jensen, JT, John Jones, TK, and RJ, they've, they've really done a great job and, you know, helped me get to where I've uh, gotten this year. And CSU Pueblo will be hosting Minnesota Duluth this Saturday at noon at the Thunder Bowl, uh, the other Armac game, Nebraska Kearney will be hosting Wayne State out of Michigan. That's also a noon kickoff, but that's noon Central time. Ross, have you had a chance to uh, scout uh, Minnesota Duluth yet? They they beat Saginaw Valley 30-27 to in overtime, and obviously the defending national champions are uh, going to be a, a heck of a ball game uh, in Pueblo on Saturday. What do you know about the Bulldogs? Uh, they're they're good, definitely. They're good, they're a good team, and uh, you know they're just defending national champs for a reason. And we got to we've gotten to watch them a couple times on film, and then watch their uh, first round game last week. And uh, you know they kind of look similar to us, I would say. You know they're a very a very physical team. They like to play fast, and they're uh, they look tough. They like to run the ball and play good defense. Talking with Ross Dowson, quarterback at CSU Pueblo. And, Ross, what's the mood been like in Pueblo this year? Uh, this is your second year there, and obviously coming out of Texas where they care a lot about uh, football. Have have you noticed, uh, has the community really embraced you and, and the team? And and uh, imagine they got to be pretty excited about this Saturday's game. Definitely. There is. Uh, you can say there's, there definitely is a little buzz around, and uh, it's fun to – see ads in the paper and just kind of see the support that's really grown here from just even from last year to this year there's definitely a lot of support and people really have embraced us and we appreciate that well hey ross we want to thank you for taking some time out and want to wish you uh, the best of luck this weekend well thank you very much okay that is ross dowson quarterback at csu pueblo and and he's a uh, quarterback right out of central casting six five 230 uh, definitely looks the part uh, makes the plays when he has to doesn't necessarily have the eye popping numbers but doesn't turn the ball over and you know, like he said they they run the ball well uh, they play good defense and it's got him at 11 and 0 and now they get to face the defending national champions Minnesota Duluth and in, in NCAA football we're already down to the round of 16 there's only 24 teams they get bids to the NCAA playoffs, and with CSU Pueblo and Kearney both hosting, never had that happen before with two RMAC teams getting home games now in the second round. Kearney will be hosting Wayne State out of Michigan. They beat uh, St. Cloud State by a final of 48-38. to 38. So uh, being an RMAC homer here, you kind of hope that those teams in that first round playing those tough games uh, maybe got a little beat up and uh, might be a little bit tired uh, as they uh, – come into uh, CSU Pueblo and Nebraska Kearney. And uh, to get ahead of ourselves here, the quarterfinals will be December 3rd. And if uh, Pueblo were able to win that uh, this week, uh, they would have another home game December 3rd. But uh, definitely want to take it one game as, at a time, as uh, most of our coaches like to say. When we come back, we're going to talk about a national championship. Western State winning this past weekend in Spokane, Washington. We're going to talk with Ryan Haby when we come back on the RMAC Radio Show. <laughs> 